Morning everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter. I've come to, well just north of Robin Hood's Bay today, first time I've been here. So hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Over the years there's been some decent fans here. As you can see it's another glorious day. I'm up a bit further off to what I normally go, but you can't argue with them views can you? Starting to come across a few ammonites now. Nothing amazing, these are quite worn. But when you look around, there is there's fragments and a few dacks kicking around. So we'll have a look around here, hopefully, we'll get some good to show you soon. So I don't know if you can work this out on here, but there's there's a bit of jet on the back, there's some calcite running through it and there's a little suede just on the top there. It was, unfortunately, it was part of a larger block, but someone had broken it and there was a great big harper in it. it I mean, all the pieces are there, but I, I put them in my bag. I don't think I'll be able to glue it back together, but it's a shame because that would have been a beauty. But we're starting to get a few decent fans now. Sun's still shining. <laughs> Thank God. Just having a little slow walk over these boulder fields. Stuff can get, you know, underneath the underneath the big boulders, so it's worth slowing right down and getting your head right under. There's little nodules all over the place. A lot of uh, worn ammonites like that. This is a shame. But it might be worth giving that a split, there might be some in it. Tad's well on its way out now, so got all around there to do. Just found this lovely little double. I think the Perinoceros is. So that'll be really nice when that's prepped up. That might only be half there, but it'll still prep nicely. few more fragments unfortunately they're not all there that's a nice piece though that'll polish up lovely that might leave it there to way back yeah and then, <laughs> then the the, <laughs> yeah good thinking then the negative that's lovely we'll leave these here for the way back <laughs> now Matt's found a really nice nodule I mean pair. that is the perfect shape. <laughs> Certainly got my hands full with these yeah, ones. Yeah, you got your hands full there. <laughs> Shame to give it a split, innit? Yeah. You want to give it a split on camera? See what. And do. We will be stacked now. Good axe. Always worth putting in your bag. Now, is it, is it on the nipple? <laughs> I just go straight down the middle. <laughs> well, do safety first, shouldn't I? Right, he's decided to put his uh, safety glasses on. Did, and his move find, position. I couldn't find them. Yeah, he couldn't <laughs> find them, so I won't show you his face. This is going to be rock solid. Yeah, it'll be an harder. Put it on the shell, mate. Put it on the shell. Yeah, that's it. Now give it a really good one. Oh, 
Unbreakable booby. Oh, they're hard. There we go. Now in it. Yeah. Perfect for the camera. Well, that's the sort of material you want to be looking for. So worth giving it another hit, innit? Just to make you sweat. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he's give up. Is that enough? Onwards and upwards. Some nice shells here. Not really worth collecting, but good to see something different. Loads of nodules in the cliffs, but they're a bit too high up. Some nice bellomites here. Again, not worth collecting, but nice to show you guys. So I just come across this nodule, give it a split. There's really nice double deck there. The one underneath is a lot better condition. Unfortunately, the one on the top has uh, has lost a bit, but that one underneath will be a cracker. Matt's just chipping away. He's got a really nice bivalve, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, that's lovely. That. Just walk the sun. There we go. Yeah, spot on. Just started to come across the uh, like the orange beds, so there's a chance of maybe a few pleuroceruses around here. But yeah, we're lucky today. We've got the beach to ourselves. There's something there, isn't there? There we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a bit of a. Not what that is. I think it's just a bit of crushed all sorts. Thought you might have had a bit of bone, mate, but I think it's just yeah. like a mineral. Yeah, well. That's deceiving that because there was ammonite showing all the outside of it. Definitely bits here, I mean, as well. No, nope. nope. one of them deceiving ones. Yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. That's what I mean, Plurosaurus. But, I mean, most of them are only going to be fragments. Oops, again. So I've just come across a bit of a hot spot. There's a few negatives. There's some nice shells over there. And then again there's some more negatives. Some broken ammonites. More oh, not worth keeping. I saw this. Plenty of evidence on the outside. Ammonites running all the way through it. We give it a little bit on the side. And there is a lovely ammonite running right down the middle, possibly a few more. And then underneath that, I just saw, oh yeah, we've got an Elegantissimus block. So it doesn't look like much at the moment, but you can see on the edge there, there's a lovely big Elegantissimus. So we'll put them to a side. Just see if there's out else while we're here. There's a nice one on the back of that. All these nodules are all worth it in.
Ini apa dia apa? Nah, kalau mai ina, again, elegant citrus. Something running through all that. So yeah, a bit of a definitely a bit of a hot spot. I'll have a little go through it and I'll get back to you. Just come across a really nice shelf. It's absolutely massive. There's the armor for scale. That's lovely. Matt's about to break a few nodules as well, so he might have something good. <laughs> Just come on to one of the bays and there's a nice little cave in here Matt was just saying it's probably a good fishing spot I reckon this is where you would come Karim Don't know if you can see that I don't really want to venture in there. Oh, we got fed up, we turned around, heading back up the other way now, so... See if there's any good stuff on the way back. I'll see you soon, guys. We didn't really get much on the way back, a few more uh, dacks and stuff like that. Matt got a nice hill day, absolutely knackered. It's been a long day today. Just got to get up that now. It's a lot easier than it looks. But mind you, we're bag full of rocks. It's going to test us. But yeah, been a very good day. I've enjoyed coming somewhere new. Somewhere new. Um, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Right, I'll have a go at recording on the way up where it's safe to anywhere so you can see what we go through carrying a big bag of rocks on our back and this bit in too bad it's just big big steps in the mud <sighs> Legs are burning. Quarter of the way there. Yeah, yet. Yep. Kicked in straight away. <laughs> right, it's a bit of a rope here, so I'm going to use it. I'll see you soon. That was just the first bit. Oh, I'm out of breath. Another bit on the rope. And then just that top bit to get over. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna use the rope. I'll see you soon. It's a beautiful part of the world. It sure does. So that's where it starts. The rope down goes down there. That bit's a bit bad, and then it's not too bad. But I mean, I wouldn't advise it for any young families or you know any any people like that competent. It's worth it for the views just to come and stand up here. There. Right, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll um, I'll see you next time.